Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. So in this video, I wanted to update you on the progress that I've been making on the 13 GPU uh, miner build. So you would notice that I did the uh, ASRock um, H110 Pro BTC uh, motherboard unboxing. And from that video, I explained that I was gonna be doing like a big uh, 13 GPU uh, miner build. So I've been making some progress with that, but it's been taking a little bit longer than I expected. So what I thought I'd do is just kind of give you a, a quick um, update uh, video and um, show you the progress that I have made over this last week and kind of advise you a little bit further on uh, when I'm expecting to complete this um, build for you guys. So I'll flip the camera around and I'll show you kind of where I'm at, what components I've got, and um, I'll explain a couple of the actual problems that I've had um, along the way. So let's take a look at the, uh, some of the components that I've got ready. Okay, so I've just flipped the camera around there and I'm uh, working uh, with a different sort of camera setup here trying to get the uh, best of you guys. Okay, so on the actual desk you can see I've got this uh, wooden frame built here. So I've actually just built this um, today. I've just got the components for it. And it's a slightly different construction from the uh, build of the wooden frame for the El Cheapo rig. Uh, primarily because I've got these two kind of spars uh, that run down uh, for the actual uh, riser boards. Um, on the actual uh, El Cheapo rig, and I, I am sorry, I'll try not to say actual ever again. Just noticed myself um, saying that, obviously I'm trying to <laughs> deliver the best for you guys in these videos. So this uh, is a slightly different construction because primarily we've got these two spars that are, are running down there and they're going to be supporting the um, uh, PCI Express risers. So these are the risers that I picked up and they are the version 6 risers. Um, so that's a look at those there. They have the Molex power connector at the back, which is what I want it really. Um, and they also have these uh, USB cables, which are 60 centimeter cables. I'm a little bit concerned that they might be a bit too short. Uh, one other thing, going back to the, uh, the frame there, uh, you will notice that it's obviously only really capable of supporting six or seven GPUs. So what I'm actually going to use is the, the El Chupo wooden frame that I've already got. I'm gonna kind of attach it to this one. So I'll kind of have a front and back uh, kind of setup and that should support um, all of our 13 GPUs. Um, at the back you can see we've got this uh, Pentium processor so it's a G4400 and that's going to be going with our motherboard over there, the ASRock motherboard. The power supply, you should have seen a unboxing video, uh, I put that up just the other day, so it's a HX1200i, that's going to be the primary uh, power supply or powering most of the actual GPUs. Um, I've also got this RM850 and it's actually just a box here, the actual power supply is in another machine uh, but I'll be using that to power the motherboard and probably a couple of the actual GPUs and so, so I think these two will go um, quite well together. In terms of actual power consumption I think the total rig are probably going to be using around about 1600 watts so plenty of power uh, between the two of those and then here we've just got some risers, um, a couple of hard drives in there, I've got RAM already that's it actually in another machine that I'll be taking out. Um, and that's pretty much it for the immediate hardware. You probably might notice that there's no uh, graphics cards here. So um, let me explain why there isn't. Okay, so let's talk about those uh, graphics cards. So when I was thinking about doing this build uh, originally, I already had some graphics cards. So I had uh, a couple of um, RX 470s, a 570, I've got the R7 370s, um, there's a, a GTX 970 as well, and a couple other bits and pieces laying around. Uh, when I was actually thinking about the original build, what I wanted to do is kind of incorporate all of those graphics cards. I knew it's going to be a bit of a shambles, a little bit messy, but um, really for monetary reasons, I didn't obviously want to go out and buy a whole load of new graphics cards if I could use what I already had. Um, but then, after doing some research, I, I uh, experienced that basically that was going to cause problems. So one of the primary problems was with the operating system. If you go with a Windows-based uh, setup, you can either use um, six AMD cards plus six NVIDIA cards. You can't do a full uh, big rig setup for using Windows. Um, so then I was looking at other sort of uh, Linux-based um, operating systems, um, such as like Ubuntu or Simple Miner or EFOS. And then I realized that basically got into the same kind of uh, situations. Uh, I couldn't use my Polaris RX uh, series cards with my R7 370 cards. It's basically one or the other. So that complicated matters um, again. So what I've actually decided to do is buy um, quite a, a large number of uh, new graphics cards. So the graphics cards that I've gone with is the RX 560. 
Um, I actually already ordered some and um, they, they arrived but unfortunately the ones that arrived were slightly different to the ones that I wanted. They didn't have a PCI Express a power connector. They only had, well they didn't have any other power connector so it would just be running through the, uh, you know, the PCI Express port and I didn't want that. I wanted to have an external uh, power source. So they've had to go back and I've ordered some more. So I've now got nine RX uh, 560s and they should be here today hopefully. Um, I know, and I'm going to be using them with my uh, RX 470s and also the other uh, RX 570s. So that gives us a total of uh, 13 GPUs and they're all of the Polaris um, series. So that's what I'm going to be using for the actual uh, GPUs. Okay guys, so that's the main update there. I just wanted to kind of give you a, a short brief on exactly what was going on with the uh, GPU miner build. Uh, one other thing, actually quite an important thing. Um, I was looking for a name uh, for this rig. Um, I was thinking something along the lines, something to go with the Sapphire kind of brand because it's going to be primarily a Sapphire based uh, GPU mining rig. So really I was looking for a name. If you can give it a name, it's just easier for you guys to track the actual progress of this build um, and also you know, any updates that I do. So in the, the previous videos I had like the El Cheapo rig and stuff like that. So it's quite easy for you to follow along that kind of um, that minor build. So if you guys have got any suggestions for names for this uh, upcoming rig, like I said, it's going to have 13 GPUs, it's going to be sapphires. I was thinking something along the lines of Big Blue or something like that. But if you guys have got something a bit more creative, um, I'll, I'll use one of those um, suggestions. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to share with you the total progress. Um, I'll be giving you uh, regular updates from here on in. Um, like I said, those uh, GPUs should arrive today, so then we can start on the actual main build um, and then take it from there. So thanks very much for watching, I uh, appreciate your um, support, comments, etc. Uh, I'll see you guys soon.